Hey everybody. Um, tonight I'd like to talk about something a little different than what I've talked about in the past. Uh, sort of. I mean, I guess uh, I don't do a lot of these videos very often anymore. And in the past I've always talked about what's been going on in my life. And uh, in a way I guess I'm still kind of following suit with that. <clears throat> but uh, I want to talk about depression. Uh, apparently, I've got it. I uh, I don't know how long. I've honestly, the doc thinks I've had it for years, and just you know, unknowingly found my own ways to keep myself distracted from it or put it out of my mind. But I, I don't really want to talk about me so much. Is I just kind of want to let everybody know, like, if you know that someone is struggling, just you know, even though I know everybody, everybody's struggling with their own thing. You know, you've got this problem, they've got that problem. You know, but if you know that someone is dealing with something like this. It is sometimes the littlest thing can matter. The littlest thing can make a difference. Even just a, you know, randomly out of the blue, just hey, how are you doing today, man? Or are you holding up okay? How's everything been? To some people, that that makes the difference right there. And. A lot of people with depression deal with suicide. Uh, I'm one of those people. I'm not 100% sure why I'm making this video. I guess uh, when I thought about it, and I've been thinking about it for a good you know, week or two, but I thought just maybe if I can share a little bit of what I'm going through, of what I've been going through, you know, maybe somebody will see it and they'll think like, oh, hey, I'm going through that too. I'm not alone, you know. You know, if he got past it, maybe I can get past it. And I, I'm not saying that I necessarily am going to, you know, I'm just some guy that if you're watching this, it's on a screen right now. You know, maybe you know me. Maybe you don't know me. Maybe this is nothing. And I guarantee you there's going to be at least, at least... One person who sees this is going to be like, oh yeah, he's doing it for attention. Well, if you think I'm doing it for attention, shut the video off right now. Don't share it. Don't like it. Fuck, um, unsubscribe me from me if you want to. I don't care. That's not what this is about. This isn't about attention. This isn't about views. This isn't about, you know, making somebody laugh. I've been going through this fight and I know there's other people out there that are going through the same thing. And it's it's something you can't describe to people. If if it's not something that you've had to deal with yourself, it's impossible for for people who have never felt this to truly understand what it's like to to be you know, that low that you can't pull yourself out of it, you know, to the point where rational thought doesn't make any sense to you, to whatever you've cooked up in your head, whatever negativity has overwhelmed you, it just, it takes over. That becomes the center focus and that becomes what makes sense. It's like a, a dark voice on your shoulder that's telling you all the negativity that you don't want to hear. And it might start off as something as simple as a little thought. Just a little thought that pops in your head thinking all like, Oh, hey, maybe I'll do something this weekend with so-and-so. They tell you you're, they're busy. And they're hanging out with somebody else instead. And that means nothing. That's not a big deal. I know it's not a big deal. You know that's not a big deal. But then there's that little voice on your shoulder. It's like, 
Yeah. They don't want to hang out with you because of this. You're the problem. You did this. They don't want to hang out with you because of you. And that's that kind of thing. It's that, and that's not true. It's not you. I'm coming out of focus here. I'm not meaning to do that. I'm sorry. It's not you, though. That is literally what it's like having depression all the time. And a lot of people, I'm one of them, I'm guilty of it. You hide behind trying to make people laugh or trying to be funny because, you know, I think deep down it comes down to you, you know what it's like to not be happy. So all you want to do is make everybody else smile. And it works. It's a really good mask. Some people are really good at it. There's times where my depression's bad and I can fake it. I can fake it so damn good. So damn well. It's not a grammar video. I'm doing it right now. It's like, it's easy to hide it when it's at a certain level. And there's other times where it's so bad that it's... You can't even, you can't, you don't even have the energy to, to even fake smile and get through things. It's a struggle. It's a constant war inside your head of negativity and trying to overcome negativity. And it's so damn, it's, it's, it's a struggle and it's draining and it's tiring and it's vicious. And What's worse is knowing that people around you who haven't had to deal with it, they don't understand. They don't. And that's okay. That's not their fault. You can't be mad at them because they don't know how to help you. But for those of you who who don't know how to understand this, if you have a loved one or someone who is going through these sorts of things or you think might be going through these sorts of things, all you have to do is just be supportive of them. A little extra positivity, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the hardest thing about any of this was talking to my family. Um, I told my mom and dad, my uh, my brother and my one sister about it. Uh, I told them that I had tried to take my own life, and I told them how and when, and. Uh, uh, it was, it was hard, but I was going to a group and, uh, it was a group of people who had gone through similar things. And basically what I, what everybody said was the same thing. They gave me the best advice and that is talk to people about it. The more people you talk to about it, the bigger support system you have to help you get through these kinds of things. So you don't end up trying to do that sort of thing over again. Cause some people, they keep trying and trying or they, or they try and they, they, you know, get part way and then they kind of second guess and stop themselves. And I, I feel bad for a lot of those people because they get wrote off after the fact that trying to, they're just doing it for attention. And maybe they are, but not the way that it sounds. Maybe they just want someone to care about them. Maybe they just want to see that somebody is going to be there for them when they need them. Because sometimes people just feel lost. Right now, I feel lost. Every day is a fight for me to not let that negativity crash over me like a black tidal wave. And sometimes I feel like nobody gives a shit, you know, and I have to tell myself like, yes, they do. They're just busy with their own lives. They, I'm, it's not anybody's responsibility to be checking up on me. I know that I'm an adult. I know that, but Sometimes there's that voice, that, that negative voice over your shoulder doing the same thing again. They don't care about you. 
Go away. It doesn't matter if you leave. No one's going to give a shit. And that's not true. That's the most important thing I can say about this. People do care about you. Okay? I don't know why my phone keeps focusing in and out. I am so sorry for anybody who might be watching this. Maybe it's because of the light. I don't know. But seriously, people do care. Even if it feels like people don't care. I mean, I planned out mine for two weeks. It wasn't a spur of the moment decision. I had things lined up. I had people ready to take care of my dogs. I had everything all set up. And I can't tell you what stopped me. My grandmother will tell you it was an act of God. I don't know if I necessarily believe that's what it was. But something stopped me. And I'm glad that it did. I've told most of my family, a lot of people know, and it's, it's, it's hard. And you're going to have people who aren't going to react in a very good way sometimes. You know, I've, I've already, I had somebody call me a coward because I tried to take my own life. I didn't get mad at them because it was cowardly. It was an easy way out. You know, I didn't, I had a lot of reasons in my head why I thought that was the right thing to do. None of them make sense even to me right now. And since that day, I've, see, I've sought help. I've been taking steps to better myself. And uh, it's, it's just, it's impossible to explain. So if you are going through this, reach out to people. It's hard. And I know that negative voice is going to try everything it can to stop you. It's going to try telling you that, you know, don't waste your time. Don't waste your breath. They're not going to care. They're, it doesn't matter. It does. You do. They will. That's the most important thing. People care about you. You matter. We all matter to someone. Whether you think so or not, we do. I want this video to reach people who it needs to reach. If you share this video, make sure that you're not sharing it because you know me or you're sharing it because... You know, oh, you know, this guy, you know, share this video because the message needs to get out to people. Because sometimes people just don't care about these sorts of things. If it's not something that you think affects you, you scroll past it on YouTube or on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. You scroll right by these things because it doesn't matter. And maybe you don't. Maybe you're the type of person who you do care about these things. Or you've had someone that's dealing with this in your life or have someone like this in your life. So you pay extra attention. But just, if you're someone who is not struggling with this, but you know someone who is or might be, just try to be there for them. Not 100% of the time, you can't be. You gotta be there for yourself, you gotta be there for your family, your husband, your wife, your kids your dogs, your cats, whatever it is that's in your life. You've got to be there for them. But if it's a friend or anything like that, sometimes just saying hi, talking to them a little bit. Sometimes that's all it takes. If you're someone who is struggling with this, do not give up. There is better out there. No one's going to make it better for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to overcome it. There are things that can help. There are people who can help. But you 
are the one who has to take control and do it yourself. At the end of the day, that's what that's what it comes down to. It's your fight. Don't let it win. You are the one who has the power to overcome this. And if you're watching this and you're one of those people, you're already trying to help yourself. You're listening to me trying to tell you that you've got this. You've got this. I'm a weak individual and I pulled through. Okay? If I can do that, you can do that. So please, stay with us. Hell, <laughs> prove me right. You matter. All right. It's the end of this video. See you guys later.